Come here. Now. Come here and get on the floor. Now. Hello and welcome to UK Crime Caught on Camera. Coming up on this week's show. One of the UK's most wanted drug lords is nabbed in Thailand. Would-be thieves blow up ATM machines and a driver who'd gone off the rails leads police on a 95 mile per hour chase. 22 million pound heroin carrier bag smuggler jailed after filming drug promo ad. A dad who smuggled £22 million pounds worth of heroin into the UK was nailed by police when he filmed a TV-style advert of himself promoting the drugs. Birmingham man Arfan Mirza ran a multi-million pound heroin smuggling operation through a carrier bag shipments. According to the National Crime Agency, he imported heroin with a potential street value of £22 million pounds into the UK from Pakistan. The dad of four headed up a massive drug smuggling operation which saw consignments disguised as shopping bags and sports goods. A court heard how he filmed himself in his kitchen boasting about how easy it had been to smuggle the Class A drugs into the country. The video acted as an advert for potential street dealers after he imported 220 kilos of heroin into the UK. Two drug consignments were intercepted at Heathrow Airport in February 2020. The consignments listed as containing shopping bags from Pakistan were inspected by Border Force officers and found to contain a total of 20 kilos worth of heroin. NCA officers probed Mercer's phone data and business records held by courier companies. They discovered he was behind the importation of 30 similar consignments, bringing in others to accept deliveries at their addresses. Videos found on Mirza's phone show him handling the drugs and testing the purity of the heroin. A search of his home found parts of the carrier bags which had been used as a cover load, as well as mobile phones and SIM cards, the numbers of which could be linked to contact details on the consignments. In subsequent interviews with NCAA officers, Mercer claimed that a known person agreed to reduce his gambling debts by £1,000 if he allowed the parcel to be delivered to his house. Analysts at the NCA believe Mercer imported a total of 220 kilos of heroin between March 2019 and February 2020, with a potential street value of £22 million. Mirza was arrested in February 2020 for conspiring to import controlled substances into the UK. During his trial, Mirza admitted his involvement in the offences and that previous parcels had included heroin. He also admitted collecting the drugs and then sending them on to others involved in the supply chain. He was convicted in February following a seven-week trial at Birmingham Crown Court and sentenced to 20 years imprisonment. Judge Heidi Kubik, KC, described Mirza as head of the drugs operation in the UK and said he had played a pivotal role in the success of the illegal activity. She described Mercer's lack of remorse and said he had only provided a self-serving account into how he became involved. Cannabis gardener hides among pot plants during police raid. A cannabis grower who tended a large amount of dope plants inside a house has been put behind bars. R.D. Salikaj was found hiding amongst the illegal horticulture in one of four rooms that were being used to house the drugs. But the police eventually managed to weed him out. The officer, as you're about to see, is both loud and blunt with the dopey grower. Come here. Now. Come here and get on the floor. Now. Put your hands behind your back. Hands behind your back. Behind your back! More than 150 cannabis plants were discovered in all after officers executed a planned warrant on the Mansfield property. The January 2023 raid happened after police received intelligence of a drug operation inside. After forcing entry into the house, police immediately spotted signs of a cannabis grow, with dozens found in the living room. More than 50 more plants were then found growing across two bedrooms upstairs. Around 80 more were also discovered to be high up in a lowly lit loft. There, Salikaj was seen trying to hide among the illicit plant life. And after inspecting the electricity meter inside the property, 
it quickly became apparent to police that power had been dangerously bypassed to ensure the cannabis grow. Sally Catch was charged with the production of cannabis, something he later admitted to in court. He was sentenced to eight months in prison at Nottingham Crown Court on March 17. UK Most Wanted Crime Boss nabbed in Thailand after five years on the run. One of the UK's most wanted fugitives, who was on the run for five years, was arrested in Thailand in February 2023. According to the National Crime Agency, 55-year-old organised crime boss Richard Wakeling fled the country in January 2018 on the eve of a 12-week trial. The Essex man was convicted in his absence of trying to import £8 million worth of amphetamines suspended in liquid in 2016. He was sentenced to 11 years imprisonment in April 2018 at Chelmsford Crown Court. Wakeling, who has a prosthetic lower right leg, was placed on the National Crime Agency's most wanted list after he fled. In February, officers from the Royal Thai Police arrested him at a Bangkok garage as he went to collect his car following repairs. The National Crime Agency says he was in possession of a passport and another identity. The agency notes that Wakeling, who had been living in the beachside town of Hua Hin, remains in custody and extradition proceedings are underway. In 2019, the NCA issued an appeal for help finding Wakeling and released CCTV footage of him before he fled. They say he left his home at 9.48am on Friday, January 5th. He drove off in his car, a white Audi Q3. The car was in the Ivor area later that day before he caught a bus from Heathrow to Glasgow. According to the agency, the following day he took a ferry from Stranraer to Belfast. A week later, on Saturday, January 13, Wakeling's car was driven back to his home address. The NCA began its investigation into Wakeling's organised crime group after Border Force stopped a truck boarding a Channel train on the 9th of April 2016. The agency says the truck contained plastic drums carrying drugs. The driver was transporting furniture from Italy but stopped at Terna in Belgium where phone evidence showed he was directed to collect the drugs. According to the agency, the entire importation was set up by Wakeling. He was in contact with truck suppliers in the Netherlands and liaised with two other UK offenders to arrange the journey. Officers believe the crime group had organised at least six other importations before the 2016 seizure. Would be thieves empty-handed after blowing up ATM machines? Two men have been sentenced after they tried and failed to blow up two ATM machines in Essex. Jamie Masters and Wayne Lewis attempted to access cash at ATMs outside banks in Whitham and London. In total, the pair's action resulted in more than £100,000 worth of damage. On both occasions, they were unsuccessful and left with nothing. Masters and Lewis were arrested in April 2022. They were charged with conspiracy to burgle and conspiracy to cause an explosion with intent to endanger life or property and both men admitted the charges. In March 2023, Masters was sentenced to six years and eight months in jail, whilst Lewis was sentenced to six years in jail. Danger driver leads police on high-speed chase after going off the rails. A dangerous driver was brought to a halt after taking officers on a high-speed chase through five villages in Nottinghamshire. Andrej Kralik, 30, reached speeds of 95 miles per hour during the pursuit, which lasted for 10 minutes in September 2022. The chase began when officers spotted him mount a grass verge as he recklessly overtook another vehicle on a roundabout. He then accelerated away at speed, prompting the officers to turn around in order to catch up with him. Upon nearing him and activating blue lights and sirens, Kralik increased his speed and failed to stop. The court heard the pursuit happened just six days after he committed another motoring offence. If that resulted in a £656 fine and his driving licence being endorsed with six points. In relation to the police chase, he pled guilty to dangerous driving at Nottingham Magistrates Court in February. 
He was sentenced on Tuesday, March 21st at Nottingham Crown Court, where a judge heard he had no previous convictions and committed the offence at a time when he'd gone off the rails. The judge was told how he was struggling following the breakdown of a relationship, loss of employment and loss of accommodation. Sentencing Kralik to 10 months in prison, suspended for two years, Judge Nurmal Shan KC told him this was a particularly bad piece of dangerous driving over a sustained period of time. I have no doubt that you only stopped because you tried to go the wrong way down a one-way route and collided with a vehicle. It's only luck rather than good judgement that you didn't cause a serious injury to someone else. In addition to the suspended prison sentence, he was also ordered to carry out 150 hours of unpaid work and was disqualified from driving for 18 months. Well that's that for this week. Wherever you've been watching us, please drop us a like, share the video around and follow or subscribe if you haven't already.